Also, a lot of people don't realize this, but uh, part of this deal uh, with Brittany Griner and the Merchant of Death is that Russia also gets a first round draft pick in the WNBA next year. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it insane how fast they could have done this shit, but they waited? Like, how long has she been locked up? Like, wasn't it like February. they could have done this shit in like January, right? Or February, whatever. Like, they could have done this shit. And the war started and all this fucking optic bullshit. You know, it's just like crazy. And now, like, all of a sudden, 24 hours later here, they're going to be fucking home and free. It's just crazy how, like, they mm -hmm. could have done this shit a long time ago is my point. I love Venn diagrams. Folks, welcome to the uh, to the stream. Hello. How you doing today? Rad left dad. Welcome to the show. I'm doing great. How are you, Dan? I'm I'm doing great. Thank you very much for asking me. Returning champion of the stream, Rad Left Dad. Wow, we got some stuff to talk about today. Dad life, meme life. We want to talk rail. Breaking news today coming out of um, you know, Washington and Russia. They're gonna go ahead and do a prisoner swap with Brittany Griner and I don't know, some guy, something a uh, merchant of death, something, something. Yeah, so a lot to talk about today. How you doing today? What's going on? Uh, how's dad life? I just got the kids down for a nap, which is incredible. Yeah. Uh, first try, too. Didn't even have to, uh, you know, pull any strings. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, we're doing good, man. Uh, there's a little bit of controversy going on, controversy going on on my meme page right now. Always Not controversy. controversy. There's an anarchist that hopped into my comments and uh -oh. just... Uh-oh. Anarchity. You could tell he's, he's never read a book. An um, so anti-communist anarchity. I'm... Yeah. yeah, and uh, it's nothing against anarchists, no. like whatever. I can have good conversation with anarchists. Right. Um, it is what it is. But yeah, but yeah, dude, I'm doing good. Awesome, awesome. Have you been uh, watching the World Cup? I know you play. Uh, yeah, uh, FIFA. Uh, big FIFA guy. Big FIFA guy. Big FIFA guy. Um, also, okay. I actually was just playing FIFA last night with my homies. Nice. We were dominating. But yeah, I've been watching <laughs> the World Cup. Morocco fucking shocked the world and beat <sighs> Spain, which is great. How about that? I'm all about it. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't been watching much, but uh, I, I I cannot help but watch a clip every now and then. I just love soccer. Yeah, Beautiful I mean, sport. honestly, the whole Qatar thing is obviously it could be better, like <laughs> as far as that situation goes. And FIFA in general is just kind of corrupt, obviously, and yeah, it's bad. But there's there, there's I'm a huge soccer fan, and I like to see some of these smaller countries who've been like decimated by you know imperialism, colonial, like all this bullshit, Whoa. like like win you know what i mean so like spain getting knocked out that's yeah. great to see just all that shit you know imperialism colonialism what do you think this yeah. is some sort of uh leftist show what are you doing yeah. here? what are we doing here what are you doing here when are you gonna come visit chicago you know I, honestly <laughs> but the spot. colder it gets um the more i just stay in my house yeah yeah you know yeah but springtime maybe spring I'll come time. Down. we're coming down springtime for rad left dad we'll be yeah. looking forward to that how about how about you got big Christmas or New York uh, New Year's Eve plans with uh, with the kids and and the lady? Yeah, so yeah. it's always a problem cuz like my parents are divorced and so I have like mm -hmm. a very large family. Mm -hmm. So every but everybody does Christmas on like Christmas Eve. And so now I have like six families that are expecting me on Christmas Eve. You know what I mean? And it's like, wow. well, why don't you guys do it on like a fucking Friday or you know, not <laughs> Christmas Eve, you know, that that way I don't feel bad for not showing up. So I really don't know what we're doing yet, but we'll figure All it right. out. Meme life Rad Lap Dad, you're a big time memer on the Instagram website. Um, how's that going? How's how's meme life? Bored memeing, dude, all day every day. <laughs> yeah, um, it's actually excuse me, it's actually been pretty like there's not much going on in the news. I just found out about this Brittany Griner thing actually today, yeah. like on your stream. So I, I haven't that. had a chance to make anything about that. I mean, there's really not much to it. It's <laughs> clearly like they're just using her as like a political pawn. You know um, what I mean? So apparently Vin Diesel did it. Here he is on, on Instagram, out Instagramming you. Okay? Jesus Christ. Instagramming 161,000 likes. Vin Diesel says, I need Britney Griner home before Christmas. He did it. It's Vin Diesel. It's Vin Diesel. Family. What? Britney Griner's family. You know the the Fast and Furious meme? The family meme? No. What? They, they are? You don't know. Like, it's a Fast and Furious joke. It's a... Okay. Sorry. Got it. Family. This I'm, is incredible, though. So we're mm -hmm. giving the credit to Vin Diesel and not Joe Biden. Is that what we're doing? Um, I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. Me too. I'm in. I can right. meme this for sure. Yeah. You can meme this. And uh, everyone, if you're not already doing so, follow Rad Left Dad on Instagram. The link is here in the chat. Here's Rad Left Dad on Instagram at Rad Left Dad. Um, almost 30,000 followers. When do you expect that to happen? 
you know, we we uh, we made a Taylor Swift joke, and the yeah. Swifties came after me, and oh. that was like a month ago. And I really, honestly, took a dip in my following. It was actually kind of wild. Here's Dat on uh, on Instagram over here. Oh uh, yeah. Any, any bangers le uh, recently, or, or anything there, controversial? I mean, if you, you want to get into? They're all bangers. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty four hundred. We call it a certified banger at a thousand. These are the these are the rules. We don't make it up. These are the rules. I mean, someone made it up. I made it up. This is where the anarchist. <laughs> Pop, popped into the comments here. Oh, okay. I don't so, know where, but somewhere in okay, there. So hold on. Me listening to religious people describe heaven as a class, moneyless, stateless, classless world and then criticize communism. Yeah. How about that? So, yeah. so which one's the, uh, uh, you'll, the anarchy? It's like some love light bullshit. I don't know. Oh, He's like, unity got it. initiative. What part of communism is stateless? <laughs> 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 they're laughing, but they don't even realize they're laughing at themselves. Yeah. Oh God! Uh, it, yeah. Where do you start with this further. guy? Where do you even start, bro? Didn't even read the commie manifesto. Didn't read theory. Check. Made stupid comment. Check. This is what no <laughs> theory, no dialectical materialism does to a motherfucker. In any so the dad doodler yeah. go up. Yeah. That's my very good homie. He used to have a meme page, and he's very very smart. Um, he got banned or zucked, as we say, yeah. and he had done or restarted his meme page, but very smart guy. Just right. shouting. Him out. He's cool. And they ask you, though, can anyone tell me who would enforce the public ownership and distribution of goods if not a state? Yeah, the yeah, community. This guy clearly hasn't fucking read, but it's fine. Just total state brain. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, not... some anarchists, I can fucking, like, you're going to have Rathbone on. I know he's, like, a very intelligent and, like, yeah. he understands. But, like, some anarchists are just, like, fuck authority and that's it. You know what I mean? No theory. So, yeah. No no material analysis. No dialectical materialism. Doesn't understand the forces at play. Doesn't understand the opposing forces. So it's like, tough. Why, why don't we just get rid of the state? He's like, yeah. yeah let's, let's work towards it. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do something about this. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure that. someone's written some books about why you can't just <laughs> go do that right away. But yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. I, I, li I like the energy. I like the energy. Yeah. Exactly. Can't be, can't be terribly mad. Can't be all the way mad. Yeah. No. Um, He's got the spirit. Just needs to read a book, you know? Exactly. Actually, okay. I keep that thing on me. You're like always one of those libertarians forever. always carrying, you know, the, the Constitution. You always got the commie manifesto. You're, you're like Grimes walking down the street. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, I think you should just kind of pull through some of these memes because we're going to end okay. up on AOC meme with the railroad strike. And I think that'd be a good place to kind of which tracks. Do, do, do you want to go there now there. Or, or just keep going through them? Yeah. Well, you know. Came here to study arts and punch Nazis, and they just cut funding to the arts. It's a throwback there. Are you one of those, um, what do they call, LARPers, where you talk shit about Nazis, but you've never killed a Nazi? That's, I can't say I've killed a Nazi. I literally but... had someone say that to me last night on Twitter. Really? Yeah. You're just a LARPer for not because you haven't killed a Nazi? They literally said, show me the Nazi pelt. <laughs> I'm like, That's what? crazy. Yeah, that's insane. Would that make you happy? Yeah. Uh, if you abolish the police, then what about crimes? Who will commit crimes? <laughs> Got him. Permission to play. My wife, me, and my squad waiting on me. Oh my gosh, yes. That Please. was me last night can trying I play? to play some Fortnite. Yeah. Can I play? I'm sorry I'm not liking your... It's fine. Look it's at me. No worries. These are funny. You should get credit for your funnies. Uh, senators with unlimited unlimited sick days vote down paid leave for railway workers. All reliable violence, as in how they can enforce this if they go on strike, right? Yeah. Yeah? Is that what you're getting at? I mean, I'm getting at, like, the whole thing is violence against workers. Sure. Therefore, the only retaliation should be violence mm. uh, Oh, in video games. Right. In video games. So how about when you meet a liberal, mockingly? Look who's afraid to punch a cop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too good. Hey, bro, can we borrow a copy of State and Revolution? Ours got wet. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're just swole. Should have made their heads bigger, but. <laughs> okay. And here we are. AOC. AOC after portraying railway workers. And of course, you, you, you stole the picture of her crying at the detention center. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that brings us to rail. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, I, I mean, hold, I did want to ask about like meme trends, yeah. Or, like any other favorite memers, maybe we can circle back, but I, I don't care. Who cares? We'll circle back. We're just we're yeah. just riffing, dog. Riffing. You know what I mean? There's no. I mean, we're here. Nothing. We're here. Yeah, we're here. We're, we're here. in Let's the talk moment. Rail. We're, we're in the moment. What we got to do? We got all day. All right. So, um, 
All right, right left that. How about we do this? Why don't you do this for me? I'll do Why don't you explain you want. what is going on? Give us some background on what's going on with the rail situation uh, in the United States in general. Let's start. Well, let's just start at very general here. I mean, this is the reason that I'm so upset about this is that look at the timeline of, of events, right? I, I know I'm, you asked me about the rail, but I'm just going to like give you the timeline of events here. Fine. The Democrats were begging for your votes in the midterms. This is the most important election of our lifetime. You know, we need to do this and that. But it's so frustrating because uh, Democrats are like, this is the most important election of our lifetime, like, which they always say, you know, it's nothing changes. Um, and then, you know, we're, we're going to work for you. And then what do they do three fucking weeks later, Dan? What do they do? Um, what did they do? I don't they know. They vote is this down a quiz? to I'm squash sorry. the strike. Oh, yeah. Sorry. And yeah, it's yeah. just another classic Mid example sorry, midterms of... Midterms after midterms. That took me a yeah, second. After I'm a the yeah, it's, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Uh, Three what, weeks later, dude. What are we here to talk about? Like begging, they're begging for your fucking vote. You know, they're begging. Yeah. We're going to work for you. And then three weeks later, the squad, all of them, Joe Biden, you know, choo choo train Joe. You know, he's like proud of like, I took the trains as a single dad, you know, we're going to work every day. And then he just squashes this fucking strike. That little girl was me. But I'm just, I'm just so tired of every these time. fucking Democrats. I asked, I asked my friend, um, like diehard liberal, like proud liberal. He proud union guy and i'm like what do you what do you have to say now did, did you vote hard enough you know like what like what here here's a perfect example of what voting does mm. absolutely fucking nothing it's literally just another example of the fucking the state siding with capital and i, I how how much longer are we gonna fucking take this i just get so frustrated dan you know and it's like these people huh. are just asking for fucking sick days and and yeah. the bourgeoisie, these fucking rich billionaires are like, sorry, we can't afford that. Can't do that. Best we could do, two days off. And you know, they're and like I what from what I've heard, these railroad workers are like working crazy overtime and they're on call like constantly mm -hmm. and they can't have a fucking life, you know, like outside because it's like, hey, can I have a couple fucking beers? I don't know, because they might call me because Joe Schmo is, you know, can't run mm -hmm. whatever, you know, and it's just like what is going they have no life. And I know how it is. I work in manufacturing myself. It's not railroad, but I work in a fucking factory. And I know how important like having time off is. And mm -hmm. The fact that the government is intervening and giving these people like sick days is just incredible. And they're like, We're, it's going to ruin Christmas. If these guys <laughs> go on strike, it's going to ruin Christmas. I'm like, good, ruin Christmas. No what about, one fucking cares. What about their Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Do they, they probably have to work on fucking Christmas. You by know way, what I mean? By the way, Christmas doesn't have feelings. Yeah, people I know, do. I mean, yeah. Who, it's who, who's going to ruin Christmas for? The oligarchy? The people that they, that they always fight for anyways. And like we were talking in Twitter, on Twitter, like when we were DMing, like, yo, yeah. they're like, hey, this is going to ruin the economy, whatever. Like, and meanwhile, you know, we have the housing bubble and all this shit back in 2008. They completely fucking destroy the economy. And what do we do? We just give the fucking banks more money. We bail out Wall Street and whatever. But now we can't give fucking poor railroad worker Joe a fucking yeah. sick day. So, um, you know, like Joe Brandon or something? What are you, some sort of right winger? I, yeah, I mean... It's incredible because like liberals tell me that Joe Biden is fucking pro labor, pro union, all this bullshit, right? To get him elected. And what has he done? The that complete matters. opposite. Well, that's the thing. Like to the completely unnuanced people who may be watching my channel, not a lot, I'm assuming, but we're coming at Joe Biden from the left, from his left. Yeah. And we've been right about this shit the entire time, you know, to give, my, exactly. to give us some credit here. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I don't want to toot my own horn. It's just Go like, even, I think you said yesterday, I know we give AOC a lot of shit. Yeah. Right. And the squad, a lot of shit, but like they voted to squash this strike too. They could have fucking voted <laughs> to like, you know, let the strike go on and it, st it still wouldn't have passed, you know, like it, the, the strike would have been squashed, but the fucking squad couldn't even fucking vote, you know, in favor of the unions in this regard, you know, like they, they couldn't even do that. They couldn't even save face. And so then mm -hmm. when I make fun of a AOC, people are like, oh, yeah, hey, you know, like. You can't say that. I'm like, literally, look, she just voted to squash the strike. She she has no fucking leg to stand on anymore. And she hasn't for a long time. The squad in general, I'm not just picking out AOC, but it's really frustrating because, you know, I make an AOC joke and then all the libs are like, oh, my God, like, stop. And it's like, no, there there's no leg to stand on anymore. She's not progressive. She's not a socialist. If she was, she wouldn't vote to squash this strike. I know it still would have gone through, but like save some face and vote against it.
I'm just so upset, Dan. That's all. And I know you can be a upset. lot of people are feeling it. But. I do upset. I do worked up upset energy. And that's okay because people in my chat, they know that when you're feeling despair, we take it and we radicalize ourselves further and we apply this energy in the real world. And we'll talk about that. I mean, let's talk about that. What What are we going to do? How, uh, like, so, like, how are we, how are we going to vote our way out of this, Rad Left Dad? Well, we're not going to vote our way out of this. <laughs> I think the most important part of this is like people need to understand the importance of unions. I think that this is a clear example of how important unions are, right? I mean, I specifically have been trying to unionize my workplace for quite some time. Um, and it's very difficult to do. So that the fact that these people have a union, and I think it's like multiple railroad unions. I think there's like 10 or 12 of them, like kind of like a conglomerate here. But what are we going to do? I guess what we're going to do is agitate, educate, organize. I think more people need to start joining unions. I think we need to start really, and we're seeing it, right? I mean, Starbucks and all these things. But I, I really think we're going to win this war by, you know, unionizing, and organizing our workplaces. And that's where it starts. And I think that's why it's so frustrating that the government, you know, intervenes with this um, because they're clearly showing their true colors, which we've all known. Right. I mean, this isn't a surprise, um, but I honestly think the war is going to be won by like unionizing, organizing the workplace, having a say, having a democratic workplace. Like that's the most important part right now, because like voting clearly isn't getting us anywhere. Mm -hmm. Um and we're all working class, so we, we need jobs, right? Or to feed our families and everything. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's a tough, that's a tough question. But I, mm. I would just say I'm really, really, really uh, into uh, unionizing the workplace. I've been working on it very hard at my own place. Um, and it's super tough because a lot of people are brainwashed and fed this media bullshit about yeah. unions, uh, which is very frustrating too. What, what I don't want to do is like traverse into the territory of being like, well, what should the rail workers do as if we're telling them what to do. But I wonder what would you like to see the rail workers do? Maybe if you were a, um, a rail worker, what how would you be organizing uh, with your fellow workers right now? What would you be doing? I'd be doing, I'd be fucking saying wildcat strike wildcat all strike. the way. What's a wildcat strike for those who don't know? Just, it's an, well, they're, it's an illegal strike. I mean, because the bourgeoisie, the capitalist class are clearly fucking afraid of this shit, right? You read Marx. They're clearly afraid. So it's like, you know what? The best way to show them what's up is fucking do it anyways. Like, you can't tell us what to do. We're the ones making your pockets fat. We're done with this shit. Give me my fucking sick days yep. and let's move on with our fucking lives. That's all they're asking for is fucking sick time. Crazy. Striking for more than two days of sick time is against the law, but economic warfare on the working class is legal and encouraged if anything because that's how you wouldn't right. enrich yourself it's crazy because i feel like so where i work you actually i get sick it's days American but dream. i actually get punished for using them and i'm non-union <laughs> but not we're we, dude they give us three sick days but then if you call in and use them yeah you get paid but then you get an attendance point and you know what if you get seven attendance points you're fucking fired dang yeah so <laughs> so don't what so don't be sick more than seven days so yeah, I mean, basically, I'm just saying where I work, I, yeah, if yeah. you call in and you don't show up to work, you get a point. Okay. If you refuse overtime, you get a half a point. It, and if those points add up to seven points, you're fucking fired. That's like mandatory overtime. Is that legal? Correct. Well, they say it's not mandatory because you have a choice. How can you And you slap? only have a choice up until seven points, you know? So, like, I understand. I My heart is with these workers because mm -hmm. I know what over being overworked is like. There are, are years that I've done 500, 600 hours of overtime, not by choice. And so these poor folks are just asking for some fucking sick days, and mm -hmm. we can't even give them that. It's, it's insane. So if they wildcat strike, what should the left do? We have to support. They are doing what... A lot of people should be doing right thoughts, now. It's give like them our thoughts and prayers, right? Give them our thoughts and prayers. Yeah, thoughts and prayers the whole way. Um, no, I mean for me personally, what I'll do is I'll fucking take my page, which is you know it's a decent platform, but I will fucking go to bat with them. I will say everything like this is what needs to be done. Like it's it needs to be done, and if they don't do it, it's fine. I understand they have families. It, there's a lot on the plate. You know what I mean? But yeah. I don't know. I just I think at this point we need to take that chance. And I, I hope they fucking ruin those capitalist Christmas, you know? Yeah. Ruin Christmas. Yo, the, the, the fucking oligarch class will be fine. Dude, <laughs> they just and that's wanna, the thing. They say ruin Christmas, but 
nothing's going to go wrong. They're fine. They've got their wealth. That's even the most upsetting thing, too. It's like the media narrative of this shit, which is uh, we obviously know the media is controlled it. by whatever billionaires yeah. and whatever. But it's just like why you're you're blaming the workers. Like, what are you fucking doing? Like, journalism is fucking dead. Bought and paid I'm for, just I guess. saying mainstream media journalism. You know, there's there's good independent shit, but I'm just so tired of this shit. And, yeah. like, people just feed into this Democrats are for the fucking people. Like, it's insane. And you know what this is going to do to some of these railroad workers? Mm. They're going to be like, well, I voted Democrat. I voted for Biden, and look what he did. And what's yep. that going to turn them to do? Go vote for fucking Republicans? Uh, Probably. Some of them will, right? N Thanks, not to, like, Biden. make this an electoral politics thing, but, like, look at, the, like, look at what this is going to do to people, you know? This may turn them more reactionary. Oh, well, I joined a, a union and look how good it was. See, it, it didn't exactly. really work out good for us. And then you start hearing these anti-union talking points. But it's like, no, fucking homies. It was the Democrats that didn't even allow them to strike. It totally, I don't know, castrated them. It, it took uh, uh, it took all of all of their leverage away as a union. That's why unions strike is to hold their their owners accountable uh, to, to, to get them to the uh, to, to negotiate in good faith. In good faith. And that's the power that unions hold is the strike, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you can bargain however you want, but the power is in the workforce. And like, if they don't show up to work, then the capitalist classes, bourgeoisie is not making money, right? So that's the mm -hmm. power that they hold. And so it's just frustrating that we, we're still talking about this day in and day out. Is, uh, is it fair <clears throat> to say that strike breaking is a right wing ideology? I mean, at this point, yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. But, we're, we're looking at a right wing democratic president. It sounds a yeah. lot. That might, that might blow some some minds, but uh, I don't know. Hopefully, well, you watch my channel. It's not too mind blowing. That's the funniest part about this is like Joe Biden literally campaigned on being like pro union, pro labor. Like I said, he's choo choo train Joe. He's he <laughs> back in the day he was fucking a sim, you know a single dad taking the trains every day to work. Like he that was like what he campaigned on, and then this is what he does. And like he shouldn't i mean i guess we can give him all the blame but it's it's just more than joe Biden. it's the whole democrat like party like they're right. all garbage all, all, all the way down to like everyone except for like one member of the of the of the squad rashida talib which she shits yeah. the bed on other on other things but still bernie sanders was like like trying to give these people the, the you know the sick days or whatever but he's so fucking old and boring now and we all know his like takes on israel and shit so like i'm not a pro bernie guy um i'm just saying like bernie fucking had the balls to do it but yeah. none of these other people did you know as uh if you're an electoral person and if that's where you spend all your time and energy talking about things you know if, if that's where you think uh you know uh, the liberation of the working class lies you're gonna start to realize uh, over time and hopefully sooner than later that, you know, the Democrats and even the the most progressive amongst the uh, elected Democrats, um, they don't consistently represent the pathway to liberation. And that's the problem. Uh, that's the problem with it. And that's why, you know, they get our 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 our, our criticism, um, you know, when when we get the bad. And of course, we'll take the good when we get the good. But there's a lot of bad with these guys. And that's why they they I've had to take my Bernie sign down. I, you know, I, I, I'm just a little bit less um, impartial in that sense, I guess. You want to talk about Brittany Griner next? We can talk about Brittany Griner. You probably yeah. know more about it than I do because okay. I really haven't been paying attention. But I, I, I know like the the basis of what what's going on. Yeah. I just under I, I think it's just so funny that we're we're trading Brittany Griner for some like, <laughs> yeah, crazy like war criminal guy or whatever. I don't know. You know more about him than I do. But let's talk about it. Brittany Griner released in swap for arms dealer. Victor Bout, the guy, they call him the merchant of death. Who do you think got a better deal right left at? The, I mean, the, the Russia, they, they're getting the, their merchant of death back, or the United States, who's getting Brittany Griner, uh, Brittany, Brittany Griner Bragg, and she scores about 20 points a game. I'm saying Russia won this deal. Now, that doesn't mean I'm <laughs> pro-Putin here, okay, everybody? <laughs> Just... Like, I don't understand, like, this whole thing with Brittany Griner. Like, I, like, you were saying earlier, if you were locked up for, you know, cannabis... Hey. In Russia, nobody would give a fuck. Or here, like, yeah, well, that exactly. I I understand or, specifically Russia. She's yeah. Sorry, she's a celebrity. No, you're good. She's a celebrity, <laughs> so like it makes headlines. I understand that, but like, at the end of the day, none of this shit matters. It only fucking matters to the political capitalist class, right? Because they can use this as like, hey, look, 
Joe Biden just squashed the rail strike and he saved Christmas. And now he brought fucking Brittany Griner back home, like right before Christmas. Like what a fucking guy, you know, it's all just optics, bro. Yeah. It's fucking annoying. For those unaware, WNBA star Brittany Griner had been in Russian custody since her arrest at an airport near Moscow, February, as the proxy war in Ukraine, the U.S.-Russia proxy war was sort of breaking out with a Russian in invasion of tanks and whatnot. Uh, she was accused of entering the country with illegal vape carts, cartridges, or carts, as us stoners say. Hey, Dan, I'll be right back. Okay. I'll finish this. I'm just, yeah, just do your thing. I'll okay. Be, I'm just checking on the kids here. Here's nope. some noises. You, you got to check on the kids. I, I, I totally yeah. understand. Um, her lawyers said it was prescribed as a part of a treatment, as part of treatment for chronic pain and other conditions. So, Brittany Griner uh, being swapped with this arms dealer, Victor Bout, Victor Bout, known as the Merchant of Death. <laughs> Look at this guy. All right, mustache game. Pretty good, considering he's been in prison for the last 11 years. Got to give it up, you know? So here's Victor Bout. You got to give it up. He's got a decent mustache for uh, 11 years in prison. You are, yeah, well, you've got a better mustache, but wow. that's a nice mustache. That's nice. That's nice of you to say that about me. Thank you. You didn't have to. I love you, Dan. He's been serving a 25-year prison sentence. He's been in there, I believe, for 11. Um, he, was, uh, he, he was on a 25-year sentence for uh, in the U.S., on charges of conspiring to kill Americans, acquire and export anti-aircraft missiles, and provide material Jesus. support to a terrorist organization. We traded this dude for a basketball player. We did. Which is like, whatever, fine. I'm glad she's free, and it was stupid that she was yes. locked up in the first place. She yes. made a mistake. I think the laws are stupid. Like, we can all agree on all this shit, right? But at the end of the day, they're just using her as a political pawn. This is just identity politics. And this is literally what the Democrats do. They're like, hey, look, we saved a, a black basketball player from fucking Russia, the big, bad Russian people, you know? And right before Christmas, too, hey, look at all the good we've done. Mm -hmm. And it's it means nothing. Like, I'm glad she's free. I'm glad, you know, I'm glad this all worked out. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like, what does it even mean? Nothing. But they're just going to use it in their favor. And that's all they do. Every fucking time. Yeah. They're going to uh, they're going to treat this like a win. But like always, they're not changing the socio-political circumstances of the working class. They're not empowering Correct. the working class anymore. Although she is a, a working class member. She is a celebrity. She's, um, you know, probably a well, a decently well-paid Petty bourgeois? Uh, maybe. She's exploited as fuck. I don't know. She's yeah, definitely, definitely proletariat. Definitely. I would say. Uh, Pereni reminds us that uh, athletes, is, you know, uh, are, are, are especially uh, exploited, even the most well paid. Um, definitely. Yeah, I guess you're right. I, I take back what I said. I just, I, it's just like, it, none of this matters to me. You'd be a good like leftist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, Slap on the wrist. Sorry, my <laughs> fault. <laughs> um, so, so in, you know, in that sense though, but she's not like, she's not like, she doesn't have the same status that you and I have, um, in the sense that she is a celebrity, she has celebrity status. Right. And so, you know, if it, if it were me, uh, doing a stupid thing and, and going to Russia, uh, um, and of course I think we can give a certain amount of blame to her handlers and people who are advising her and her agents and whatever. Okay. For sure. Um, uh, what am I trying to get at here? If it were me. Biden would not be working to get me out of Russia. If it were you getting caught at a, an airport near Moscow with vape carts, he would, Biden would not be trying to get you out. You'd be just, you'd be shit out of luck. We'd be sitting know? in a Russian prison right now. Yeah. There's no question about it. That's my whole point too. It's like they, they weaponized this. It became a whole identity politics tactic, mm -hmm. you know? And that, and that's just exact. That's what it is for, for, Face value, just that's what it is. This is identity politics. This is how the Democrats have always done this shit. Like it's, mm -hmm. it's just, I'm, I'm tired of it. Like I'm, like I said, and I'll, I'm probably beating a dead horse here, but I'm glad she's free. I'm glad this worked out. We're all good there. We can understand. But at the end of the mm -hmm. day, this is just identity politics for the Democrats. Like, look what we did. And meanwhile, they are squashing fucking workers' rights. You know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah fucking frustrating dan isn't pretty it pretty frustrating like, well, you talk about this shit every day i do too with my meme page and it's like when are the fucking liberals gonna understand you know biden did more 
to pardon Griner's weed conviction than he did for any other American charged with a weed crime. And that's the other thing. Like, there are so many people in the United States who are fucking locked up for, like, bullshit marijuana charges, cannabis charges, whatever. And it's like, what are you doing for them? All right, I got a theory. Yeah. You want to hear my theory? I'd fucking love to. All right, check it out. Brittany Griner is a Russian double agent. This was a long con, okay? To get okay. the merchant of death out of prison. She concocted no. this idea to go to Russia with the carts, the vape carts, and get caught to orchestrate this swap. What do you think about that? Brittany Griner, Russian op. Confirmed. Yes or no? I mean, obviously it's confirmed now. Got that, I, that, you blew my mind with that. I never thought about that shit. Now, do I think she Got was her. smart enough to actually go through with that? Probably not, but I don't know, man. I don't know, dude. I think you, you, I think you sell her short. You know what I mean? When, 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 I mean, when you right. underestimate people, that's what that's when they take advantage of you. Here's the thing: maybe it wasn't her necessarily, but she was definitely used as a pawn. I would say in this whole mm -hmm. grand scheme. How about that? Like, because you're going yeah. like super, no, yeah. into it, yeah, no, psyop right. type shit. But she was definitely used to get definitely this guy used. out. Definitely used to get this guy out. Um, uh, there's this other guy. Uh, that Russia's holding. His name is Paul Whalen, a former Marine. <laughs> what do you think he's doing in Russia? Uh, nothing good. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I mean, yeah. If it's on behalf of Empire, it can't be good for Russia. Are they? He's That's just a, the dialect. He's, the, he's a U.S. Marine. Was a, uh, got, a former U.S. Marine. He's probably a spook. Okay. Probably, a, you know, probably a spy. They got him locked up out there? Yeah, he's been over there. I don't know how long. And they're trying to free him, but they, instead they, also they got Brittany Griner free. True. Uh, to, uh, to add to this, uh, Paul Whalen's family uh, uh, like tweeted or something uh, a message of support for this swap, for whatever it's worth. Paul Whalen's family yeah. said, we're glad Brittany Griner's free. Yo, who else is going gonna, gonna to score 20, uh, 20 points a game for whatever fucking team I've never heard of in my life? WNBA. <laughs> I feel guilty about that. <laughs> you don't have to be... I don't watch any basketball. Uh, so he's been held for 11 years. 11 years. Jesus. But we got Griner out, and they're going to fucking ride this one out, dude. Like, this is going to be like Christmas, yeah. come home. She's going to, the, the media is going to be there when she gets home. Fucking cameras out there. Like, mm. Brittany Griner's free just before Christmas time. Like, we fucking did it. The Democrats, Joe Biden, we fucking did it, you know? Yeah. And it means nothing. Also, a lot of people don't realize this, but uh, part of this deal uh, with Brittany Griner and the Merchant of Death is that Russia also gets a first round draft pick in the WNBA next year. <laughs> yeah. That Brittany Griner, yeah. Anything else we need to talk about this? Uh, I think he's, I think they said Bout, Merchant of Death guy. God, what a cool fucking name, right? But of I know, course, just I, like I always, say. just like always, it's Empire. That's just pure uh, Imperial hegemonic projection calling someone else the Empire, uh, the, the, the Merchant, the merchant of, death. of Death. Yeah, they would yeah. fucking know of anyone, uh, of anyone in the world. Every, every accusation is an admission. It's projection. Uh, about, they say, is going to land in Moscow in, in a few hours. But that was a few hours ago. So he, he may already, excuse me, he may already uh, be in, in Russia. Um, Isn't it insane how fast they could have done this shit, but they waited? Like, how long has she been locked up? Like, wasn't it like February. they could have done this shit in like January, right? Or February, whatever. Like, they could have done this shit. That, but like, yeah. you know, and the war started and all this fucking optic bullshit. You know, it's just like crazy. And now, like, all of a sudden... 24 hours later here, they're going to be fucking home and free. It's just crazy how, like, they mm -hmm. could have done this shit a long time ago, is my point. But they they were using it, obviously, as a fucking political game, chess game. Yeah. But the Democrats need this. Sorry to cut you off again, but the Democrats need this. Again, they just literally shit on fucking the working class, you know what I mean? So now the fact that they're they're like, hey, look, we freed somebody <laughs> from fucking big bad Putin, you know? Like, they're like, hey, well, they're going to... They're going to fucking use this, Dan. It's crazy. Yo, they are definitely using it. They're acting like it's a win for them while they do nothing for the countless people in the United States uh, whose lives have been affected by the 94 crime bill. Yeah. Uh, that nope. that guy signed. Yeah. He's he, he uh, like he's shown us that he's willing to do more for a celebrity on a on a weed charge in Russia than he's willing to do for anyone in the United States. And I know I'm repeating myself in that sense too, but, um, it's true. We're go we're just going know. off. I know we're probably like sounded like a broken record, but it, it just drives you nuts. Doesn't it, Dan? I mean, it, it's crazy. Oh, it's, it's crazy. 
it's crazy. They just don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about the things that they they act like they care about. So my yeah. thing is like, yeah, I want. I'm, I'm, they, they showed a picture of uh, uh, there's like a video of, of Biden, uh, you know, uh, talking about her, maybe Anthony Blinken or whatever. And I think Kamala yeah. Harris is there and uh, Brittany Griner's wife is there. And like you can only imagine what it's like to feel what Brittany Griner's wife is feeling. You people like you and me want for every family to feel that feeling, to have all of the political prisoners. If you're in prison for weed, you're a political prisoner. That's just of, yeah, that's just hundred percent. I mean, agreed. We need we need to we need to free all political prisoners, and you you would hope that this energy would be there to not only you know push for that, but like just see through this this clear contradiction in in Biden's policies and actions and uh, and their priorities. You summed it up Thank beautifully. You. It's just extremely fucking frustrating, you know, especially the timeline for all this shit. You know, you had the midterms, most important election of our lifetime, blah, blah, blah. And then fucking they squashed the railroad strike. And then, like I told you that yesterday, Rachel Maddow goes on fucking Warnock wins. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Whatever. Warnock wins. And the, the guy is like, Democrats feel like they saved America. You know what I mean? And it's just like this whole <laughs> narrative that is just so fucking tiring. And just I'm so yeah. over it because they, they clearly show they don't give a fuck about us. Yep. But they're going to sh- they're going to take this Brittany Griner victory or whatever, however you want to call it. And they're going to run with this shit. You know, for how long? But as long as it anyways lasts, I guess. Yeah, I mean, this probably shouldn't last for more than a couple of days. You know what I mean? Like they're going to move on to the next thing. But for them, this is a big win. And it's like the American working class is seeing nothing. You know, well, let's just keep sending fucking billions of dollars to Ukraine. I don't know. Dan, the, this whole world right. is just crazy. Um, they're going to confuse a win for Brittany Griner and her family for a win for the Democrats and uh, and for just imperialism in general. U.S. Oh, you take one of our people and we don't like it. We're going to come and do a deal and get her out. Uh, yep. It's just like, wait, is this really? Wait. And it's only important now because there's a proxy war going on with mm. Russia. You know what I mean? Like if. It probably would have made headlines, but it's more important now because, oh, Russia's fucking, you know, in, invading Ukraine. So, like, it's like this weird Biden win against, you know, Putin. I don't know. It's just all, all of it's just optical bullshit. Right. right. But did you know uh, Russia's bad? I don't simp for fucking like <laughs> any of these motherfuckers. Like, right. it's fine. We can have a nuance. There's nuance in all yeah. this shit. Right. Right. Just because I'm like, hey, I don't support fucking Ukrainian Nazis doesn't mean I'm like. Hey, Putin's my fucking best friend. You know, like there's there's there can be nuance there. Anyways, right. well, pe- people talk shit all the time. Okay. Well, fuck, man. Yeah, where I left that, good chat. It was a lot of fun. Good. Sorry, I kind of just got mad. This is but, a uh, this is a no. This energy that energy works in this space. It's perfect. Nice. I just get irritated. I mean, I'm irritated, uh, and it's because um these Democrats get away with it. You know, um these motherfuckers uh uh lap it up because they have no material analysis they've got no parenti in their life exactly that's yeah. that's the biggest thing is like just like use your fucking brain just like look at the look at the bigger picture here but no no none of the liberals want to do that so but thanks for letting me come on and just yell and scream about the democrats for it was a pleasure it was an good, hour it was good analysis it was good analysis rad left that be good All to right, yourself man. homie we'll uh we'll talk to you again soon and uh uh you sh- i think you should um you should give up Fortnite. You're not very good. Oh my oh! goodness! Oh! Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, I'm getting out of here. You're better than me. <laughs> I'll admit it. Peace, homie. You. Love your face. Peace out. We'll talk to you next time. All right. Later That's that. Do. That's right. Left that. See you next time. Peace. You'll love to see it. Right, left that shooting. Oh, I gotta unmute it. Right, left, that shooting is mediocre. Mediocre. Try harder. <laughs>